MMA Weekly here with George St. Pierre. George uh, just announced tonight that uh, you're going to be fighting Frank Trigg on the next uh, UFC pay-per-view. Exactly. How do you feel about that fight? Feels great. I think we match up very well together, so this is going to be a, an exciting fight for sure, guaranteed. Now you had a you had a pretty tremendous fight uh, your last time out against a pretty tough up and comer. Uh, Jason Miller, who uh, very tough guy, if anybody has seen him coming up on the other shows. But you had a pretty dominating performance. How did you feel uh, coming out of that fight? I got, uh, I try everything. You know, I tried to submit him to, to knock him out with big elbows. You know, with, with strikes sending up. But the guy he just don't want to die. You know, he, I have a lot of respect for Jason Miller. He's a he's a true warrior. He don't tap for nothing. You know, to tap you have to catch him good. And I, I, wasn't, uh, I was not able to do it, so I've all, he got all my respect. Now, just I remember about a year ago, so I mean, a lot of people were talking uh, like you were a great up and coming fighter in the welterweight division, but that you know you weren't ready for the big shots yet, you know, and you stepped in against Matt Hughes pretty early on in your UFC career. Now, you did lose the fight, but since that fight, it seems like you gained a lot of confidence from that, and you really uh, torn up the UFC. Did you, do you feel like you came out with a lot of confidence after that performance against Matt? I think this loss is the best thing happened in my career. I mean, uh, you know, since I lost that match, I gained so much, so much belief in myself, you know, so much confidence. And now I'm twice stronger than I was uh, when I fought him, and I'm twice uh, more confident than I was. You know, and I got a lot, a lot more tools. You know, I, I never stopped to improve, fight after fight, and I think uh, I will be the next uh, welterweight champion, no doubt. I just try to build my way up now and fight, fight Triggs, and after uh, I hope I'm gonna have another title shot. Now you're going in to fight Trigg on the next show. Now, what is it that you feel is your strong suit that's gonna give you the edge against Frank Trigg? I have a. You know, I, I think I'm very well round, very, very smart. You know, uh, I'm I'm more athletic than he is. I think I'm more strong. Probably I'm more fast, and I think I got, I definitely got all the tools to beat this guy. You know, and in every aspect of the fight, you know, I think I I'm better than than he is. You know, so uh, I can't uh, see him beat me. You know, I I, I, I don't see him beat me at all. I see myself as a winner. Now, when you fight Trigg, is there uh, any particular area of the game that you'd rather fight? Would you rather stand with Frank, or would you rather go to the ground, or does it make a difference? To you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna impose my rhythm. I have a strategy for this fight. It's a secret. I don't oh, come wanna, on, I, you, you want to <laughs> put the strategy out? Come no, on. because we won't tell him. <laughs> yeah, we won't. We won't tell Frank Trim. <laughs> a lot of people will be very surprised after that fight. I, I can't guarantee that to you, but uh, I have a, a strategy, and uh, I will use Frank Trigg's, Frank Trigg's weaknesses against himself. So that's all I can say right now. Well, I can tell you that uh, that's a fight that a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. So uh, good luck in August, and we look forward to the fight. Thank you very much. Thanks, George. All right.